I am Chad Higginbach from ATAS International in Allentown, PA, and I am a maker. Well, basically it's a roll forming process. We get the pre-painted flat coil into our shop and then uh, depending on the profile, we'll send it to the various machines. And a roll forming process, it, it goes through several stations on a continuous roll forming uh, operation and then the, we get the final profile, it's cut to the proper length and then it's simply created in or packaged as necessary. I do all different kinds of machines. I pretty much do a lot of the machines in here back and forth from the other building to here doing field lock and BWR and pretty much anything. <laughs> I started here just working on a general machine, uh, learning you know basic skills, tape measure, and how to add and subtract. And from there, you know, you work your way up and you kind of you learn a lot pretty quickly. You know, the biggest skill you can have in a manufacturing environment or in any environment is the ability to learn. So you start with a basic skill and then you, you work your way up to something like this. With this machine here, the skills I need every day to run it are I need to use a, a CAD system, which is a computer-aided design, so I can actually draw these parts into a computer, and then a CAM system, which basically takes the drawing of the part in a computer environment and tools it and says put the, put the hits right here to make this shape. And then that there prints a program that we load into the machine. The program, once it's inside of the machine, can then run in process to make those shapes. There's still a lot of manufacturing effect. There's more manufacturing jobs here in the United States than there is in China. Uh, number one thing that these kids need to do is stay in school and learn. Get professionals into the schools and show the kids how to do interview, the interview process. Now, I, I've been in school for quite a long time. <laughs> Uh, I've been going to school for a well, uh, mechanical engineering technology degree, so I've learned a lot of the stuff that I need every day there, and I use it here. Uh, my, my CAD training is all basically from my schooling. My CAM training is mostly from my schooling, and even with this new machine, when we just brought it in a month and a half ago, I went back to school specifically for this machine. Yes, we're always learning. I mean, new machinery that comes in all the time. Uh, we have to uh, get trained on the new machinery and the computer systems that are that are with the machines. Ma manufacturing is not simply uh, drawing it up behind a on a computer and, and a, whatever program program you're using. You got to be willing to get your hands dirty. That's uh, that's how you make things. We have to keep reading the market and, and adapting. But uh, now we have six plants and 135 employees and looking to continue to grow. We are ATAS International of Allentown, Pennsylvania. And we are makers!